Unit 5, Lesson 4, Examples 12, 13, and 14. We're going to start with number 12 first, and the directions say, find the measures of the angles. So that's what we're going to do. Looking at number 12, it looks like I have the measure for angle Y, but I need angles X and angle Z. I need to pick one to start with, and it doesn't matter which one I pick. For this example, I'm going to start with angle Z. I'm going to notate that that's my reference angle by calling it theta. All right, so I have, ang I have side measures. I need an angle measure. Time for some trigonometry. I'm going to write out SOHCAHTOA to help me figure out which trig function to use. I have the hypotenuse measures 9, and across from the reference angle is opposite for 5. That's a sine function thing. So the sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. I'm going to substitute for what I have, and that leaves me with the sine of theta equals 5 over 9. I'm leaving theta for the angle measure because I don't know what it is. But I do want to break the sine function away from theta to figure out that angle measure. Remember, we do that with our inverse sine function. It looks like sine to the negative 1, but it really means sine inverse. Therefore, theta, the measure of angle Z, can be found by taking the inverse sine of 5 over 9, which, when I put in my calculator, comes out to be 33.75. I guess I'll round that to the nearest whole degree, and so theta equals 34 degrees. Remember that theta is the measure of angle Z. So the measure of angle Z is 34 degrees. In right triangles, the acute angles are complementary. They add to 90. So the measure of angle X is 90 minus 34, which is what I had calculated before. That gives me that the measure of angle X is 56 degrees. Zooming in a little bit to look at question number 13, again, I get to start with whichever angle I want. For number 13, we're starting with angle X, noted as the theta, and we're using SOHCAHTOA again. Locating my hypotenuse, and the side once again is the opposite. So once again, we're going to use the sine function. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. I always love writing this down first, just to make sure I have it. Now I can just substitute for what I have. Sine of theta equals 10 over 14. Have to break the sine function away from theta so I can figure out the angle measure. Means that the sine inverse of both sides will mean sine inverse cancels with sine on the left. And theta equals the sine inverse of 10 over 14. Drop that in my calculator and I get that theta is 45.5 degrees, well, 5, 8 degrees. Again, let's round it to the nearest whole degree number, and theta equals 46 degrees. Theta is the measure of angle X, so the measure of angle X is 46. Remember that the acute angles in a right triangle are complementary. They add to 90. So now I can find the measure of angle Z by taking 90 and subtracting 46 degrees for 44 degrees. Finally, time for example number 14. Again, I'm going to choose angle X to start with, and again, I'm setting up my SOHCAHTOA so that I can figure out which trig function I want to use. Looking at closer number 14, there's the hypotenuse, but this time I don't have the side opposite because there's no information. I have information in the side adjacent. Adjacent and hypotenuse, that's cosine. All right, so the cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Always start off by writing your trig function. Once I have that written, I can just substitute for what I have. I don't have the angle measure, so theta stays, but adjacent gets replaced with 15 and hypotenuse with 25. Once again, since we're trying to find the angle measure, we need to undo this trig function of cosine. Use cosine inverse. So theta equals whatever I get when in my calculator I write cosine inverse of neg 15 over 25, which my calculator tells me is 53.1 degree. 
Rounding to the nearest whole degree, theta is 53 degrees, which means the measure of angle X for this triangle is 53. Again, because these acute angles are complementary, the measure of angle Z is just 90 minus 53, which after a quick calculation gives me 37 degrees. Thanks so much for watching. See you in class.